One and two and three. Hello everyone. Hello. I'm Sylvia. I'm Michal. And today we are going to talk about our morning routine as a couple who travels together, works together, and why we have the need to keep our mornings as a space for self-time. I feel so excited, you know, waking up and knowing that I have my morning routine ahead of me and that I'm going to be spending time with myself and really checking in with what's going on inside me. It brings the stability as we travel. It's essentially give, creating space for incorporating activities that do us good, that we love doing, that we know that are good for us and just making sure that we include them. Yeah, it's amazing and it fills me with energy for the rest of my day. And after having this time on my own, I find that I have so much more space to hold for me how and to, to work together and to support you in whatever you are needing at the moment. And yeah, it's, it really works for me and for, for us as a couple to have this separate time in the morning and to connect with ourselves before we connect with each other. We took some time, a few months, to develop, to think about what are the activities that we like to include in our mornings. What really does us good to start our day in a positive, energetic way? And what we've noticed is that as we travel, as we grow, as we learn new things and interact with different people, our routines also evolve with us. Even a few months ago, my, my morning routine was a bit different than what, what I'm doing in the morning now. But the, really the core kind of principles are still the same, so it's really wake up you know your body and your soul and connect with each other and see how we feel and then also use this morning clear thinking to read to get some inspiration and some knowledge and learn some things and then get your body get some nutrients into your body and, and stay yeah. healthy we wake up in the morning and we wake up together and we usually check in with each other how do we feel so that can be as simple as taking a moment to talk to each other or just cuddle in bed. Sometimes we have sex in the morning, sometimes we just feel like being on our separate paths. Sometimes one of us feels one thing and the other one something completely different. Sometimes I want to be on my own, Miha wants to cuddle or the opposite. But the point is that we check in with each other and we get on the same page and we agree on how we want to go about our morning routines. Yeah, and then usually we proceed to our individual morning routines that we spend separately. So for me, I start the day usually with drinking water and I make my bed. That's a new thing I learned from my good friend Bruno and I really enjoy this process. So thank you, Bruno. And then I stretch. I stretch for, for a few minutes and then I write. And I write different things. Sometimes I just write simply how I feel that time or just random things. Sometimes it's ideas I've been thinking about. Sometimes it's some observations. Sometimes it's re reviewing my goals and reading through my, no my journal. It's very different things. And then usually after that I meditate. And this gets me in this very... Uh, ready state and after that is breakfast uh, and during breakfast I either spend it together with Sylvia or I like to read during breakfast read a book for me I start with my morning also with drinking water and hydrating my body after a long night of sleep whatever then... you do stay hydrated <laughs> <laughs> then I usually journal my dreams because it's such an amazing tool to learn about myself. For example, if I had a nightmare and I wake up anxious or restless, if I write down what happened, my memory traces it back. Where do these emotions come from? And it's very useful. I've been learning a lot of things about myself through, through dream journaling. Also because I'm practicing for lucid dreaming constantly, so this, this helps me a lot. I mean, it's a necessary part of the practice for it. After that, I journal uh, about my waking life. What are my goals for that day? What am I feeling in that moment? Uh, what am I excited about? What am I grateful for? What am I nervous about? Then I meditate, usually 20 minutes, half an hour. And then I do some yoga. Sometimes instead of doing yoga, I go for a run, but generally I move my body during that time. And after that, I share breakfast with Michal or have it on my own. I sometimes also like to read uh, as I eat my food. Hey. 
Hurry, rai, 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 rai. We travel long term and this is our lifestyle. Therefore, circumstances around us are constantly changing. We find it very important to be able to adapt our routine to things changing around us. Let's say we're traveling somewhere new and we are waking up at 4 a.m. to catch a plane. Maybe we're gonna have some extra time at the airport and I'm just gonna do my yoga there or read on a plane. It doesn't matter. It's about knowing those activities and staying flexible. Also, circumstances tend to change all the time because of various reasons. Sometimes we just feel differently. We might feel a bit angry at each other or... Or sick. Or, or sick or angry at someone yeah. else or upset for some reason. We just need to keep adapting and stay flexible. Yeah, so if you don't have a morning routine, we would highly recommend yeah. to start playing around with creating space for activities you like doing. It can be lots of different things. If you do have one, you can share your ideas. Uh, we would be very, very interested to hear what are the activities you're doing and how do you maintain your, your routine while you travel or when circumstances change. Yeah, tell us what is the most challenging for you. I'm very curious about that. Yeah, just, just share with us whatever are your thoughts about our morning routine, about yours, about anything else that you find useful. And we love you very much. Thank you for yeah, watching our video. We're so grateful that you're watching. <laughs> and uh, it's a pleasure. To and do we're this hoping for you. it will be useful and will give you some some uh, some inspiration to keep improving constantly your life. Yeah. See you later. So much love. See you later. <laughs>